Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hit Film Express tutorial video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take standard footage like you'll see here on the left. Yeah, we got some dudes just rocking out and some, yeah, you know, scary footage, but it's boring. The coloring is wrong. I'm going to show you how to adjust the coloring and make it color corrected and make it look like it belongs in a scary movie. This is for those of you that are new to YouTube and you want to have a cool look. You'll always see it in all those filters, the blue filters, the pink filters, all that stuff going on. Or alternatively, maybe you're a new filmmaker and you're just learning how to, you know, correct your footage and make it look like it's cinematic and filmish. Well, let's do it. I'm going to just go ahead and delete all of this and start from scratch so that way there's no trouble so I have some stock footage that I got off Pexels and I'm gonna show you how to do this in like two minutes it's very very simple and you don't have to know a whole lot to do it so I just dragged and dropped the footage in presto and the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your effects panel over here and what we're looking for is presets and down here at the bottom so you'll see here that I'm at the top of it the effects Drag it all the way down to the bottom, and at the bottom, you're going to see presets. And under presets, you're going to have a few options. What we're looking for is film looks. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take generic footage, or just footage that you shot either using a DSLR, or maybe you're, you're just using your cell phone, and it doesn't look quite right. Let's go ahead and make it look cinematic. So what we want to do now is go to film looks, and let's go down here. The one that I like is deepest blue, and we're using this one for this one, A, because it's free. Everything we're doing here is free. We're using free free software, free tutorials, free technology, etc., etc. So drag and drop deepest blue and drop it on top of the film, of the video. Now, it does a pretty good job, but it wasn't quite as good as what I had. And let me show you how to make those small changes. So once you've dragged and dropped the preset on it, you're going to notice a few things under controls. You're going to see under effects. So it's not effects, it's actually controls and then effects. You're going to see a few things. You're going to see color balance. You're going to see the color gradient that it's selected. And again, you can go in here and manually adjust these things. I'm going to just go ahead and increase the opacity a little bit. I want it to be a darker effect because we're going for a horror film look. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the opacity from 45 to about 62. Let's go with that. And then what you want to do here is for brightness and contrast, I'm going to go ahead and increase the brightness considerably. And now this doesn't look quite right. I get it. But now watch what happens when you increase the contrast. Bang. We have a cinematic look in about 90 seconds. I'm just going to hit the play button. And presto, this looks like it was shot at night or getting close to night in a friggin' forest. It looks good. That's all it took, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. That's how you color correct and make your footage look cinematic using free tools in just a few seconds. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I will be back soon.